Hey, have you ever wondered if there is an ad on YouTube and shows some crazy guru how to check if that guru is legit? Yeah, I try to do it all the time. Welcome to Team Lead Show. So, sup my team. So today I was just, you know, seeing this guy called a Peter, Peter something, Peter something, uh, Peter Zabo, Shabo, Zabo, I don't know sure how to pronounce it. So his ads were shown to, you know, during between very important stuff I watch on YouTube and I thought, hey, how can I see if this guy is legit? So first of all, I gone to his website and saw that he has a company called Lead Evo, right? Shorter for Lead Evolution or whatever. And then I clicked uh, on this uh, website called Glassdoor. And I was like, hey, come on, I, I want to see what's happening there. And, you know, right off the bat, they're like, dude, can you just, you know, sign in, please, and, and to see it. And I'm like, no, but how about I show you simple ways why front end sucks by hacking it without hacking. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, subscribe, subscribe subscribe to my channel and press like display it yes you just go display none voila i have all the information on this company without actually doing that much now is there a trickier way yes i thought there's a company called mirror light here so i clicked on that and uh, actually this is as you can see uh, right now i can see all of it but it's 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 a little bit more tricky so let's do it uh, if, you, if you press on some different company, you see not only one pop-up, but a little bit more. So I was like, come on, annoying, you you want me to log in again? I was like, oh man, what is this? So so much, so much crap. So first of all, let's clear our, you know, let's clear our console because that's nasty. Okay, step one completed. Now let's, you know, go through all of this and say, okay, so there is this some kind of page bot so there's this thing it's this hard sell and by the way <laughs> if you're naming <laughs> a, a class a hard sell uh, that definitely says something about you know it not being a easy sell because it, it kind of sucks now we still have that remaining you know our old old overly grid we had from other times so you know just again just do that and we're almost golden and there's this one remaining so it's like min modal we find new modal actually we can just close it and we we save it displaying but now if you try to scroll you see if a scrolling will not be the way you would expect actually i thought that before the scrolling for me uh, kind of was stuck as well so just add simple scrolling function like so yeah, and that's that's pretty much it. If we go and uh, we if we press, you know, our arrow keys for this specific instance, we're just going up and down, and our our function works, and we don't really need to do anything. We don't even to do login. So, in conclusion, remember guys that there are very few specific things to go about such websites and to see whenever your uh, website at least its front end part works correct so first you check if there are specific elements which can be used so for example here we see hard sell overlay so there can be specific attributes on this one and you can definitely uh, definitely work on this yeah, i'm going to make it bigger right so it's hard set overlay if there's some spe specific attributes where it says show show or not show you can change that and obviously, obviously, if there are uh, specific classes or CSS set on that, just use this and say display none. And you got it covered on most websites. And some websites such as this one has it a little bit trickier way. So it has this, uh, let's say, JavaScript part. So to battle JavaScript, uh, all you have to do is you have to find a window. Uh, scroll or on scroll you have to see all of the events which can happen so for example sometimes on scroll can be set so you can just set it to the empty object like so 
and what you have to do on top of that you just again we can copy a very simple function I wrote it's it's not great it's not super amazing it's not the smartest out there but what it does it just waits uh, arrow key press up and do that so if you do just that you can close it and let's press arrow keys and you can see I am moving so this is just one of the techniques how you can manipulate and check if the front end is responsive there are other techniques to battle it so you definitely must add uh, smarter scripts where you can uh, don't name classes like hard cell overlays and stuff like that uh, make them auto generated and things like that so there are a lot of techniques to battle it but uh, if i can just you know remove all this and see information that shouldn't be available to me that easy really i don't think this is made in a, in a good fashion and also if you just want to skip this altogether if you go into incognito it's not going to ask for that okay so this is asking for some unknown reason even though i just checked it on the outs oh, close incognito let me try it the first the first yeah as you can see is there's one incognito screen open and it's not asking me for anything so my guess is some developer cocked it up and probably there's nothing set here in application or or in my storage or even a cookie so that's why that's why probably this works the way it works and if we add uh, more of it it yes as you can see now it thinks oh so you should log in so first of all there's a bug on development part on that uh, sometimes it asks to log in sometimes it doesn't even though I was just able to you know go through that and read it and if we don't want to go through this trouble we know exactly how to deal with it so I do hope uh, people at Glassdoor will see this as, as a great uh, learning opportunity and see that there are a few things buggy here and there and obviously for you guys it's going to be a great learning opportunity to how to stress test so to speak your own websites and see if they can be hacked this easily I'm not sure if I can call it is hacking it's not hacking per se it's just manipulating things on client side so I'm not actually changing their product as such so great area guys so anyway thanks for watching uh drop that like uh, definitely sub if you like this kind of things and i'll show you more in the future cheers for now bye